Envisioneer offers two quick methods to put a roof on a house. If the shape of the roof matches the exterior wall footprint, then use Roof by Perimeter, which automatically matches the shape of the roof to the house. If the roof deviates from the outline of the exterior walls, then use Roof by Picking Points, and this will allow you to pick points to indicate where each corner of the roof lies. Regardless of which tool you use initially for the roof, the walls and the roof will become a cohesive unit and the roof will update if the walls move. You can select a roof by clicking on one of its edges. When you select a roof, the entire roof is selected and a number of different grips and markers appear on the roof. General editing tools like the move and rotate commands affect the roof as a whole. By clicking and dragging the solid blue grips at the center of each edge, you can move an edge to effectively stretch the roof. By clicking and dragging the hollow blue grips at the corners, you can stretch the corners of the roof to reshape it. The red and green arrows are surface markers. The green arrow indicates the currently selected surface. Changes to most properties, such as the roof type, slope, and overhang distance, affect only the currently selected surface. You can make additional surfaces current by simply clicking on the red arrows to change them to green. With a roof surface selected, right-click and select Properties. The properties pertaining to this one surface are listed in the dialog box. You can select any of the parameters and edit their values to reshape this roof surface. Select the Roof Shape button. Here you can change the type of roof shape. Some of the types will involve multiple surfaces, and each of those segments can be individually edited. If a gable is chosen, then the list of parameters will decrease, as the roof knows to simply extend the ridge down the middle and apply the pitch and plate height from the adjacent sides. You will see, however, Display Gable added to the Gable Roof Parameter List. This deals with the portion of the wall directly beneath the gable. You have three options on how to deal with this wall. None, it will not create a specific gable and wall, and the wall beneath can balloon frame up into that area. Or surface, which puts just a finished surface material on the gable end. Or lastly, wall, which will entail you selecting a specific wall type to fill in the gable end area. It will frame as a totally separate gable wall. Clicking OK accepts the changes you have made to the surface of the roof and you can instantly see the impact it has to the adjacent surfaces. To change another surface, select its corresponding arrow and deselect the arrows that are currently selected. Let's change the plate height of this side of the roof. With this new surface selected, right-click and choose Properties. Go to the Support and Details page. Edit the support height to modify the bearing point of the roof. This can be any positive number and it is taken from the top of the floor. So this roof is currently supported 8 foot 1 and an eighth above the floor. We will change it to 9 foot 6 to raise the plate height in this area. We could have also changed it to a lesser value to lower the plate height. When you click OK, you can see how this has updated the roof surfaces and that a portion of the roof has been elevated and how it affects the other adjacent surfaces. Envisioneer offers many editing tools that allow you to create a complex roof system.